New tonight, the superintendent for Poway Unified School District is pressing Governor Newsom to lift the mask mandate for students and staff. The superintendent sent a letter to Governor Newsom and said they are tired of waiting. CBS 8's Regina Ahn spoke with parents on both sides of this debate and breaks down the letter. California is one of 13 states with mask mandates for students and teachers. Governor Gavin Newsom announced that he would provide a date by February 28th on when masking in schools would be lifted. Tonight, the Poway Unified School District sent a letter to the governor, among other state leaders. In the letter, the district is asking for clarity and a date that is no later than February 28th, stating it would only further exacerbate the challenges experienced. The letter goes on to explain the difficulties that the schools have faced, saying our students and staff's mental health is suffering, staff is exhausted, parents are divided, and trust has eroded. <laughs> That exhaustion felt in today's protest in Poway, holding up signs like these. We shouldn't force them to wear something that they don't need to do, that they don't need to wear, and we definitely shouldn't be using kids um, as shields for the adults. Governor Newsom has highlighted Washington State's date of mid-March as a positive step, which could be a clue for us here in California. Many parents in San Diego say they have mask fatigue on behalf of their children. We're treating healthy kids as if they're sick, and that becomes the problem. Drake Kelly is a father of two in Carlsbad. He says three weeks ago he pulled his daughter from school because of the mask mandate. She had trouble breathing, and she would come home with major headaches. Kelly says he's seen a difference in his daughter, who is now homeschooling. In a huge improvement in her attitude. She's come home. She's excited to just live again. But Poway parents like Jennifer Gell, a substitute teacher for the Poway district and a mother of two children with cystic fibrosis, says she's determined to stay safe. The kids are used to wearing masks, and it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it's just like, you know, they have to wear shoes in the classroom, and right now they have to wear masks in the classroom. Gell says it's a priority to keep her students safe and wants the same respect for her children. I would hope that other parents would want to have that same mentality. I you know I'd hate for anybody to get COVID because my child had it and spread it to someone else. California's Health and Human Services Secretary says there's a range of indicators that will help them make their decision on mass in schools. That includes COVID case rates, hospitalization rates, vaccination rates, and other trends.